Welcome everybody to another Boldcast Reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. This is Kaguya-sama, episode 4. Last episode, we began the election arc, which is the tournament arc of this series. They gotta try and get back in the student council if they want to preserve what they have or, and not split up for the rest of their lives, having a place for their friendship, etc. So, we're gonna see what happens this episode and see what is gonna happen for the rest of the series. This show's been surprising us with every episode and with how far it's going, but we're just getting it right into this episode. Make sure you smash like, make sure you subscribe make sure you check out our other videos uh, our other kaguya videos have been doing great hope you guys enjoy we're gonna jump right into this right now kaguya sama love is war episode four let's go <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I wonder if she can do it. That would be really horrible if she did it. <laughs> yeah, true. But I kind of want her to. <laughs> I want her to try. I wonder if she can actually do it. Yeah, this opening for us is approaching the level of the first one. If ha if it hasn't already passed it, I can't tell. We're waiting for the uh, the new Chica ending to drop. Sure, they'll do something like that this season. I just I really want to see what it is. If it's gonna, I'm hoping for an Ishigami ending, even though I know it's super unlikely. <laughs> 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 I look like the hipster outfit. It's all like computer stuff. <laughs> <laughs> should talk to I know a guy <laughs> who knows a lot more about computers <laughs> I love that disguise for her she looks it's so, so awesome. weird <laughs> some gal. Oh, some gal. She is also a gal, though. Hydraulic press videos. <laughs> oh my god. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, this show is so good. Uh... Ten hours! <laughs> <laughs> trying to relate to him on every level and then fall asleep in the cutest way possible literal god literal genius i wonder if she's even acting i think she is <laughs> <laughs> Three hours. Three hours. 
Side piece? <laughs> oh shit. Came right out and said it. <laughs> Actually embarrassed? <laughs> Damn, did she actually have feelings for him, in a way? Hmm. <laughs> How could they make such a perfect joke with a single image? Oh, here we go, plot. Kaguya. Or just her. <laughs> <laughs> Why does she have pins in her little pencil case? Whoa. Jinji Ito. <laughs> oh, he has to like... <laughs> Looks completely different. Wait, they go to the same school? I thought they went to different schools. She was lying. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want your love. Oh my god. <laughs> Nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> this is all like new to them. <laughs> oh my god. This just turned into a giant event. Just them having a small meeting about the election. <laughs> Jesus. There's just so much pressure. <laughs> exactly. Too big to fail. So clueless. <laughs> she's still talking about the speeches. Everyone thinks that it, she's just evil. <laughs> oh shit, the sweeping 3D shot. Wait, are you serious? Wait, are you serious right now? They're fucking with us. <laughs> 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 
Or anything else. Those two, two again? again? <laughs> yeah, they know. They know we're, we're watching. <laughs> I'm so fucking popular. I'm a god. I am a golden god. So she's Kaguya, but younger. <laughs> we haven't seen her face. Have we seen her face even in the opening? Or has it been blocked? I don't know. We've seen her, obviously. I don't think we've seen her face. Knows it's him. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Freaking rude. At least one of us was on the fucking student council, bitch. <laughs> Oh. Public, Public morals, morals committee? She's a fucking robot, essentially. She's like what Kaguya, th what people think Kaguya is. <laughs> Phony baloney? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I don't see how that's possible. <laughs> Split diopter. <laughs> oh, girl. She's like the same height as her. <laughs> <laughs> Now they're looking like the fucking villains. <laughs> Do don't undermine us in front of the enemy. <laughs> they're gonna convert her. What? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> she might do it. <laughs> Fixes the glasses. <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> Five different languages. Oh no. This is all part of their plan to fucking sweep her. <laughs> this is what you get for sweeping her aside. This is bad. She already She's switched. Already, she... Oh shit. This is fucking bad. <laughs> I wish I could read Japanese! Oh, is it like romantic distancing? Like you have to leave room for Jesus? Is that what she's preaching? <laughs> We're gonna look up what that said real quick uh, at some point during the discussion. She looks so different whenever she's in anything other than her school outfit. When her hair's down? Yeah, or just when her hair was in that weird hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she looked like an actual boy. She looked, like, so weird. She looked like she was, like, ten years old when yeah. she was wearing jeans and that shirt. <laughs> How crazy is that room? Imagine having stairs in your fucking bedroom. Alrighty, so once again, the greatest show A1 Pictures has ever made astounds us. It wasn't like the whirlwind of last episode. No. 
but it was really fucking good. Like, felt, it felt it way was, more like a season one comedy. The whole time, I was just like, no. Because, <laughs> like, first it was like, oh, I bet you can't make him fall in love with you. And then it seemed like she was about to do it. And then she was, like, getting all mad about it. And then she, like, saw him at her school as well and was still being like, oh, president. <laughs> yeah. I think that's just how she acts when she's not working yeah. for Kaguya. Because we've seen her before where she's, like, all cute. She's such, for someone who is a gal, she's such a boyish girl. Like, you know what I mean? Like, she's super competitive. She's super into fucking, uh, building computers and hydraulic press videos and stuff. Um. I guess not, like, boyish is the right word. Maybe, maybe that's like, not the right word. Just not like, as, uh, uh like, just not way as more girly. hardcore than yeah. she, she would initially, well, I mean, you would initially believe that when you, like, see her doing that crazy, like, spy thing for the coffee. Mm -hmm. And, like, she's just way more badass. Yeah, she's definitely definitely a badass, yeah. yeah. But she's not, I don't know, but yeah, it's, it's, she's just s such a funny character. I'm really glad we're seeing more of her this season, because it's just hilarious. That whole sequence at the beginning was fucking awesome. Just <laughs> literally playing every card perfectly. She, like, w made so much progress in a single meeting that, like, yeah. if she probably co did continue it for, like, a couple months, she probably would have swayed him. Yeah. I bet, um, but who knows. But... <laughs> Kaguya just like there with that Freaking like out. crappy disguise like <laughs> <laughs> so mad cats nice I get it that I just love the funny. whole thing with the computers because she's like oh I'll pick one by design can you help me out and then it cuts to her literally building a PC it has like she has the RAM stacked up next to her on the desk oh my god that whole sequence was perfect oh yeah she's talking about like don't you just love watching cute animal videos she's just like you like watching things being squished by hydraulic presses that was hilarious that, was that really they included good. like some real world shit that's like a popular like and then oh my god the most relatable thing ever she's sitting there in front of an iPad about to go to sleep fucking Hayasaka watching a video of stampeding elephants before bed and it's just a picture of her like <laughs> so true uh you watch videos of stampede. not not like not that specifically but just that whole feeling of like watching some stupid shit on youtube before bed yeah so funny the whole, that whole confession the whole uh like one person like the people in the classroom he like shows up there and they're like oh shit <laughs> this is about to be a confession of love yeah right here after school We'll, we'll all go there. We'll tell every single person in the entire school. And then Chica just doesn't get it at all. You chose her over me. <laughs> She that was really crazy when he was thinking about telling her as well. That was crazy. He was about to buckle under the pressure. And, I mean, we got some serious progression there. Like, they, they clearly... It was just a line, but they clearly became closer when she was... Uh, she just said, this is my answer to this or anything else you mm -hmm. might be thinking. And then, so, yeah, yeah, so... Got introduced to the new characters, finally. Finally? I forget their names. Let's see if we can get yeah, them. Yeah, I immediately forgot their names. Miko. Eno. Miko Eno. Don't really like her. I wish we knew what that paper said. I think you might be right, because she said, we when we just scrubbed through it there, it said she's, like, a member of, like, the wholesomeness... The wholesome committee. committee or, or whatever. some shit. The mor so, Public Morals Association. Yeah, she wants to board. make the school a better and nobler place. Yeah. So, yeah, it's something that it seems like people aren't really going to be a fan of. And it makes sense, because, this, obviously, this is a romance. We're trying to get these two people together. But that's and not going to happen if this chick becomes president. They're yeah, not going to have true. any kind of int intimacy at all. I think it was just the way that the characters were drawn on that thing. Hang on. Ten centimeters. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a distancing It's like they're, like, thing. umbrage in Harry Potter. Exactly, like, exactly. Boys and girls must not be... <laughs> <laughs> Definitely interesting that they set up this, like, campaign arc, but the competitor doesn't seem like she's actually really, like going for it like with these shitty rules that she, unless somehow everyone in the school is just like yeah i don't want anyone near me i mean like well maybe she'll be able to sway like the yeah, I'm thinking faculty maybe, i'm thinking maybe um the faculty might become involved because the principal's been in the uh opening so maybe he'll like weigh in and then they, there might be some changes yeah there, i was or, thinking like, maybe not necessarily from the, the flyers because obviously yeah president is he like has this track record of being great and the student council was awesome so and she's like 
trying putting to out these horrible these ideas. Laws. Yeah. Um, but I'm thinking maybe they'll be because there's Kaguya is going to be writing the campaign speeches, so I'm assuming there's going to be like this like speech off kind of thing. Yeah. And in that like when she's like talking about it, either she'll like say some other stuff to like get the students back on her side after seeing that they didn't like her flyers, mm-hmm. or the, like, faculty will be like, damn, that's a g- genius idea. Maybe we should, like... Pump up their number, like, yeah, say... Boost uh, her along yeah. or whatever. Maybe put, give her more opportunities to speak or, like, or something like that. There might be some shit like that. I think what's going to happen is, yes, you're right, I think there's going to be some sort of confrontation where they're going to be having a speech off, but now since Chica's like on debate, the other or, side... No, but she at the end she ripped up the flyer and said she can't betray her friends like that. I don't know if that was just a comedy thing. For... Uh, Okay, let's say she goes to the other side, and don't spoil this for us, because we'll find out next episode. If she goes to the other side, then that might be... Because the whole thing was like, oh, I, w- I want to write your campaign speeches. And then he's just like, hmm, yes, Shino Mia is the only person for the job. She's like, ah, oh, fuck, please let me write your speeches. And then he's like, yeah. uh, hey, Kaguya, will you write my speeches for me? She, if Chika goes to the other side, she might write the speeches. And Kaguya's kind of... Kaguya's really fucking smart, and she is charismatic, but it's mostly just because she's pretty and intelligent. And like kind and of scary. kind of scary. <laughs> She's not like super emotionally. She doesn't have a high EQ yeah. uh, rating, so like she can't she really sway to people. Speech, yeah. yeah, she can't sway sway hearts and minds. Chica is really connected with like the average person. She's they need more to like, of a write mommy. it together. I feel like maybe that will happen, but like I think Chica that'll be an opportunity and, uh, for Kaguya. some romantic pro- progression. No, I meant like Chica. Well, maybe yeah, maybe they'll write it together. But I was thinking that anyway. But I was thinking maybe Chica will like be like, no, this is trash. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, Ishigami will be like. Yes, I was not inspired at all by this speech. <laughs> yeah, I, it, it's going to be really fun to see this, how this shapes This episode out. doesn't have, like, as crazy stuff to talk about as last episode, for well, sure. Well, last episode was insane. Last episode yeah. was, like, the season finale, and it feels and like we're feels starting like right over. One, yeah. yeah, it feels like we got an entire season's worth of shit, and we're starting over again, so I'm not surprised that it's feeling a little bit uh, thin comparatively. It's definitely a bigger a big episode. We're setting up a lot of shit here. We've got some new characters. I love that, like, when... And, uh, Ishigami and they were the villains. They were like, yeah, standing on that rock in the <laughs> ocean. I even said it. I was like, okay, these guys are setting themselves up to be the bad guys, and then she goes like, stop acting so villainous. This is bad. Like now oh, you're yeah. these people are the underdogs. Now <laughs> you're gonna get trounced. It's gonna be interesting to see the relationship between um, M- M- Miko, Miko, and then the girl with the glasses to see like if that resembles a dynamic between anyone already in the student council like if it's like kaguya and chika mm-hmm. or like kaguya and ishigami or like because she she seems like also really smart they seem very similar mm-hmm. which is kind of interesting because everyone in the student council is really their own person and really different from each other and that that's what makes it well-rounded mm-hmm. but these two seem like very similar like yeah. One of them's talking to the president, and then the other one takes over immediately, and you almost don't even notice <laughs> that it changed because they talk very similarly yeah. and like have a similar way of well, delivering they're, things. They're like they're like extreme order. Like they're they're yeah. trying to bring they're trying to take away all the fun and like trying trying to make people distance from each other and uh, imposing all these rules. They're all about morals. They're they're all, like her parents are. Uh, her one of her her parent is a court judge. You know they're they're all about order. Whereas the other group, they are they're just about keeping things. I mean, we we know them as keeping things fun, but I feel like they are pretty orderly. They're very prim yeah. and proper. This is like a private school that's like really prestigious. So they're already pretty uptight as far as regulations and stuff go. The, I can only imagine these guys want to take it to like a completely different level. You're, they already wear like uniforms. And, uh, are, are, like, super crazy about their grades and everything. Yeah. I mean, it's, that's so, pretty common in Japan, though, isn't it? I think it is more uniforms common, uniforms, uh, or, like, a, a stricter dress code. I think that is more common, but it's hard to say, because usually in anime, it's all about, like, the extreme. So it's like, yeah, they're at the best high school, so then yeah. we're all about, like, the, the highest standards. So it's hard to say. I actually don't know if it's, if it's entirely more common. Um, but I know that, obviously, a high school is way crazier in Japan because it's like our college like you have to take tests to get into a good high school that will hopefully set you up for a good college which will hopefully set you up for a good job 
uh, here it's like you basically make it all the way and then that kind of starts at like 10th grade is when you start get ser getting serious. For them, they start when they're in like 7th grade. But even if you don't get serious, like... You can still you can make still, it work. You can just go to university and take free high school classes mm. and, in Japan, and upgrade them. In Japan and Korea, I think it's even worse in, in South Korea, they start judging you extremely early which is why, like, club activities are important, mm -hmm. and, like, if you're going to be an athlete, training, I mean, that's important here, like, we're big on hockey in Canada, but, like, there, okay, you are you an athletic kid? Okay, we're putting you into soccer, we're putting you into baseball, um, which one are you good at? Okay, you're only in soccer now, now you're, you're, now you're a soccer kid, that's gonna carry you out through to your college years, and if you fuck up, then your com life is completely ruined, that's, like, kind of the idea, they're way more intense about it, but, you know, that, and it's, again, that's also at a higher level, like, a lot more people are a lot more normal, I assume, but, uh, yeah, just school in general is, is way more crazy, but even in this, this is the extreme of that, and then they're the extreme of that, where they're trying to come in and make it even more of, uh, like, a competitive... Or maybe not competitive, but just um, cold and, and like, cl yeah. uh, clean and uh, clinical. So that's kind of what they represent. So it's, it makes sense that they're kind of the bad guys. I, I want I do want to see what their dynamic is and what they're going to do for everyone. And I'm guessing those uh, armbands that they're wearing are for, like, the morals committee or whatever, whatever that was. Yeah. Whatever that was called. But that also makes sense because, I mean... They're, like, hall monitors, kind yeah, of. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I guess this isn't, <laughs> that was really funny when all the guys were, like, putting their arms on him, like, you got this, you got this, president, go get her. He's and you like, like, have they he's all like, still I have no idea what president? you're talking about. Yeah, even though They're, he's not. Yeah. He's still the president. He's still gonna be the fucking president. If, if they turn this, again, no spoilers, but if they turn this around and, like, they lose... And the rest of their high school career is them, like, being normal kids and trying to be normal and not yeah. part of the fucking student council. That would be insane. I, 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 can't, I can't even imagine a word, really like, weird. what would they actually do? What would be the story from that point? Like, what would they even do with their time? They would have to join other clubs and then hang yeah, out with new people. Yeah, they'd have to join uh, Chica's board game club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just be it just become a D and D anime, and they just be playing like different tabletop games. Yeah, he's the president. She's the vice president. It's it's Secretary Fujiwara. It's fucking Ishigami, the treasurer. You can't take that away from them. I'm not gonna take it away from them. Except <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Even at Kaguya, though, in that previous one, she, tr she like, replaced Chika in those, uh, like, her, like, visions of the student council. I could be president, he could be the vice oh, president, right. yeah. this other person could... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess that's all, that's all we kind of have to say about this episode. It's really good, but it's a lot of setup. I can tell that it's really gonna pay off in a big way. I can't wait to see what they do for the next episode. I like that they included the, the comedy at the start again to, like, separate it from the plot. And, like, yeah. there's still it's still the romantic side, but now we're getting, like, a plot side of, like... It's all for this greater thing of them getting together and this romantic uh, progression. But there's, like, in order for that to happen, there's this stopgap of, uh, you know, all the stuff with the student council. Because they can't... It can't move forward in a meaningful way if they aren't spending enough time together or if they don't especially you know, if, they, and they just want to be closer to each other so that yeah. makes sense too why they want especially that. if this other girl wants them to be like far apart at all times anyway so yeah exactly so it's, it's like not only... it's like upping the stakes exactly yes yeah exactly i'm pretty sure that that's what that flyer means i'm pretty sure it is as well if it's not correct us but i'm pretty sure that's what it is yeah Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out Gleipnir tomorrow. We're really excited to see this next week. And um, we're, we are starting on Monday, Angel Beats. I'm not sure if it'll be the first episode or our opening reaction or both. But yeah, we are starting a new series. We're starting watching Angel Beats. We're already well into the series. Um, but we're going to start posting that regularly uh, along with our other shows that are going on. We're not dropping anything. Uh, but if this is your first time seeing us, we're doing Angel Beats in the future, but we got Gleipnir, we got Naruto, and we have Tower of God. That's our other big show that we're doing right now. But right now, we're really loving this show. This is probably our favorite one that we're reacting to right now. Check out our other Kaguya reactions if you haven't already. Those are huge. We love the support. Thank you guys so much for checking those out. It's uh, it's huge for us, and we really love replying to comments and looking what seeing what you guys have to say. 
all our friends in Japan, thank you for watching. Uh, we really appreciate the support. You're like 20% of our in of our <laughs> entire channel's viewership. So if you're watching this, thank you very much. And thank you to everybody for watching. We're loving the support. And uh, yeah, hope you check out our videos. Hope you like the video and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.